In short, everyone who wanted to change their life from Monday. Give it up because it's not Monday that changes a person, it's the environment. Your environment determines who you are and what you can do somewhere. In no other environment can you do what you always thought was impossible. You can also recall that comparison about a bottle of water that costs a dollar at the kiosk, three at the gas station, and you better not buy it at the airport, otherwise you'll run out of money. As I said in the previous videos, all the stories are about our reality and the fantasies of the authors. After all, people change when they get into another reality. If you think about how you behave at work or school and how you behave at home, you will already see the difference. Everyone has noticed how a person who is alone with you changes. Compared to the same person when surrounded by a crowd, not much seems to have changed, but the result is already tangible. In another way, if you know that you have skills but think they are useless, you can do it in an environment. It's unlikely that Messi would have become a football player if he had been born in a cold country where people only watch football on TV. It may sound loud, but if you cannot change yourself, you can try to change your environment. It doesn't have to be something drastic. You can start small. From my experience, I can say that the trip allowed me to see the main thing. When I got to another country, I felt that I was nothing without acquaintances, friends, family, and obligations. Where no one understands your language, no one needs your problems. You feel free. Freedom not in the literal sense, but freedom from prejudice. You realize that no one cares about you and you are literally useless. No one cares about you. This feeling is liberating, and I realize that I need to treat myself more simply. Only I can see my failures. Other people don't really care about you. They don't care about your appearance, nationality, religion, and other things because they are also foreigners. In this country, everyone has problems and divisions, but not here. Here. They are other people. The same strangers who don't judge, but enjoy themselves, so it's not for nothing. Many wise people advise traveling, seeing that the world is huge and feeling that you are just a small drop in the ocean of people. A burden falls off you, and instead of worrying about what people will think, you start doing what brings you joy. This genre is very popular among anime fans, as is Sky Anime about people who have fallen into another world. It is mostly a parallel universe of medieval fantasy or virtual reality, there are also animated films in this genre, such as Carolina in Nightmare Land. But it is in anime of this genre, I think, that one topic is revealed that is not emphasized in films. Watching such works, I began to think that not everyone has it. Of course, but for the most part, the main character is a loser in the real world, who has lost his or her sense of purpose and is hopeless in all aspects. Most of them are nerds whose knowledge of games does not help them improve their lives. The plot. Thanks to a wonderful truck, they find themselves in a dual world that perfectly suits the protagonist, and he becomes a mega cool guy in it. And since the anime industry has long been a business platform where their icons are sold their dreams in the form of a world that is customized for them, about their miraculous ascensions, rebirths, reincarnations into heroes, into an alpha male, a protector against a wizard, a spider. They are released every season, and in fact, as a stampede. Since they buy it, why not do it? The idea in such anime is that you are not wrong, but the world is wrong. What fantasies about what I could have become if only? People are having these thoughts more and more often, and it makes no sense. After all, as we know, environments change people, and people change under the influence of their environment. I personally experienced this firsthand, so here's the point. Once I was alone in a foreign country, speaking a different language, experiencing a different climate and mentality, I involuntarily started to behave differently. In my normal life, I am not a particularly sociable person, but when I got to another world, I started to behave like an extrovert, trying to communicate with different people. At home, I usually go to very quiet local places because I don't like noise, and I became a freak. 
and there I would hang out until the morning with strangers in some clubs and parties. And even when talking to people, I started to notice that my tone of voice and manner of communication had changed as well. I realized that I had created everything. It was only when I came home and realized what had happened that I realized that the idea was quite working and that the environment influences a person so much that you can say that they are two different people. The environment can influence a person, but a person can also influence his or her environment. Scientists have discovered that. Even architecture and space elements can influence a person, so you can start with something. It's not much. But I realize that changing the environment is not so easy both financially and psychologically. But as an option, it can give you what you are looking for. There was an experiment where a famous violinist performed at a train station and played classical masterpieces on a violin worth three and five tenths million dollars and people didn't even notice him, but his concerts are sold out and tickets are sold long before the performance. So, perform on stage in the subway or train station. In one environment, your knowledge about a particular topic will be irrelevant, and in the other, on the contrary, even monos will be. Zygotic twins with identical genes changed even in appearance not to mention mental or psychological properties under the influence of their environment. So finding a place or people who appreciate your work and have a positive influence on it is not the last thing you need. By the way, have you ever thought about what exactly will unite the characters who have entered the other world? They left everything that bothered them at home. Well, if you think about it, it's the same person. The person who was too lazy to take out the trash why is he or she not lazy to study or train in the rest of the world? Probably the point is that he is really interested. Some people have experienced being tired at work and not wanting to do anything, but in the gym, lifting weights is a pleasure, even though it is much more physically demanding and difficult. Yes, because the gym is full of pumped up and handsome men and that no one is forcing you to do it and you get high from the process itself like the guys who get tired of studying or working in the office, who don't get tired of saving the world 25 by eight, just because it's interesting to them. So look for an environment that is interesting to you, where your efforts will not be in vain and where you will be appreciated. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.